anybody who doesn't have air conditioning, the hot weather could create some dangerous conditions, especially with young children. When temperatures and humidity combine to fall within a certain range, the National Weather Service says it creates a possible danger zone. Today, ABC 17's Sarah Massler donor talked to a daycare provider to find out what he does to keep everyone safe, especially when temperatures are in that danger zone. And Sarah, you found out they keep a close eye on several factors. They really do, Lindsay, because medical professionals, doctors, they tell us that kids are really more susceptible to this heat. It's the kids and the elderly that are in the most trouble here. So not really parents, although, of course, anybody can get heat exhaustion or heat stroke. So the owner of Tiger Tots uh, here in Columbia tells me that they actually have a plan for this kind of dangerous weather. And it starts with just keeping very hydrated. Each kid, each child at Tiger Tots has their own water bottle. And then, of course, teachers and staff fill them frequently. So I have my water bottle here, of course. It's a 20-ounce water bottle, and doctors say you should be drinking at least a gallon a day. So 20 ounces, I've got about six to eight more of these to drink today. So you need to be drinking a lot of water, and so do the kids. And so, of course, after getting hydrated throughout the day, Tiger Tots kids will also be kind of, they won't be playing outside as often. They'll be doing a lot more indoor activities. Anything between about uh, up to 100 degrees, uh, we'll do up to 15 to 20 minutes of outdoor time. We're very fortunate that both our decks and our playground are fully shaded during the summer, so that helps. And then if it's over 100 degrees, of course, we stay inside and we do a lot of gross motor activities such as scarf dancing or yoga or things like that. So this temperature outside today, as Sharon said, is just very hot and it's very dangerous heat out here. I mean, as soon as I walked outside, I started sweating. So what I'm going to do, I'll be back at 630 to show you that I'm going to put this thermometer here in my car. I'm going to show you at 630 how hot the inside of a car can get and why leaving your child inside the car can actually be deadly. Reporting live here in Columbia, Sarah Masler, Donar, ABC 17 News. All right, thanks, Sarah. Tiger Tots trains their employees to spot signs of heat stroke or exhaustion. But for parents who want to know the differences, we have those symptoms on our website, abc17news.com.